Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the weekend bonus read for Saturday the 7th and Sunday the 8th of September 2019 and this is for all signs. Now, it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you, what's applicable to you and leave the rest. So I'm just going to pull an overarching tarot card for the weekend. These are really big cards, but I don't like shuffling the other way. It just doesn't feel like you've got control of the deck. Okay, wow. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah. The Ace of Wands. Beautiful energies. Okay. Angels, what's the message, please? What do people need to hear for the weekend? Weekend bonus, 7th and 8th of... September 2019 for all signs. What's the message, please? Freedom. Oh, I love it. Yeah, wonderful energies. The Ace of Wands and the Angel word, freedom. I start, you know, when I started shuffling the cards, the, um, the message that came into my mind was the stars are aligning, but you need to align. Maybe make choices. The Eight of Cups. Walk away from situations that no longer serve you. Okay, there was a few cards there that turned over. We have, there's the card of choice. Card of alignment for me as a reader, we have the hanged man. Also another card of alignment, the hermit energy, beautiful. And the seven of pentacles. Um... I'm just going to get one more card for the Seven of Swords, please. Okay, we have Five of Swords. And let me just get one for the Seven of Pentacles as well. Ten of Swords. Yeah. And bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Card of Destiny. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, so we have freedom, we have the Ace of Wands. Let's start with the Ace of Wands. So, with the wonderful Ace of Wands. This wand is divinely guided. You can see the sun here. Uh, the sun represents the divine energy and there is a wand. Very much kind of like coming from the sun, coming to the earth. Um, it's asking you to recognise your potential now. One's very much about recognising your own potential, your own power. The, um, the Ace of Wands can be an opportunity, sometimes linked to career and business. The very beginnings of a new opportunity, maybe um, new business ventures, new job opportunities, new promotions. Uh, but it can also very much be aligned with your passions and desires. But because this is linked with an ace, this is where this is sometimes portrayed as the hand of God, the divine, the universe, and that's present here with the sun energy. This is very much getting on the right path in terms of destiny, aligning with your destiny in some way, shape or form. So powerful message, powerful message. There is opportunity here to put you on the right path, to, to kind of be where you're supposed to be in life now 
for those of you who have been waiting um, for answers in some way, shape or form, there's opportunity here. It asks you if it's not opportunity, it's to know your potential. It's time to take action. It's time to start aligning yourself with the path that you're supposed to be on now because there's real potential around you with the Ace of Wands and it is very much a get up and go energy. It is very much about having confidence in your own abilities in order to push forward, in order to very much promise success in your life. The ones are very much linked to power and success. So beautiful energies. And here we have freedom. And do you know, the, when I kind of like saw this, I, th I kind of think it is liberate yourself from, from closed ways of thinking. Sometimes it might be liberating your, you know, I mean, to be honest, this is a, a walking away card, the Eight of Cups as well. Some of you may be walking away from something, liberating yourself from something that's just not worked out, that's not lived at what it promised to be. Can be from jobs, relationships, friendships, uh, situations that just don't serve you anymore, that don't fulfill you in the way that the way that you wanted it to fulfill you. Because there's a real feeling of alignment with these two cards. Um, the hanged man, yeah, yeah, you see, this is beautiful energies because there's kind of like a Neptune, Neptunian quality about these. The hanged man is a visionary card, even though he is still on that tree of knowledge. His mind, his inner world, is looking far into the future in terms of understanding where he wants to be right now, where he should start working towards. It is starting engaging your inner world, understanding that you're getting foresight in a situation, you're getting clarity. It is asking you to open your mind, open your inner world now, see your potential and really think long term where do you want to be in a situation where do you want to be with your life or part of your life or all of your life and then it's very much starting taking the steps to understand what's not really fulfilling you this can be a card of abandoned dreams and it is that because you see there's a missing cup here something's missing and this person is accepting something's missing, that something hasn't lived up to the expectation. And now they have a new vision, very much this, uh, this hanged man energy, a new vision, a new hope, a new dream to walk towards. And this is somebody, the red cloak, taking action, feeling their passions, taking control of their life to choose to move towards the new hope, new dream, new vision now. So... I kind of think that this is an enactment of whatever this hanged man energy is. This can be a light bulb moment um, where some of you may suddenly realise or see things from a different perspective, see a situation from a different perspective, or suddenly realise that something's not working out and you feel like you've been hoodwinked for the last few weeks, few months, few years even in this situation. And there's a sudden realisation that you're choosing now to move on. So, yeah, hanged man energy is very powerful. But I do, he is in alignment. I mean, you can see there's an alignment here because it's inner alignment. It's finding answers from within in order to get a clear direction where you're moving towards in your external world. And that's the beauty of the hanged man. It is releasing the old as well and replacing it with new thinking. And that is very much that eight of cups energy. You know, letting go of things that haven't fulfilled you, replacing them with new hopes, new dreams, new visions. Beautiful. Okay, we've got two cards here. So we have the seven of, of swords and we have the five of swords. So the five of swords can be, I mean, yeah, the five of swords can be about external conflict, arguments, disputes. Um, calling somebody out on a situation, you know, that could have acted less than professional. You know, that can be the Five of Swords energy. This is the victor, but um, this person, come, it comes at a cost. It's the victory at a cost. And the message of the Five of Swords is choose your battles wisely. Yeah, 
Now, some of you may have been deceived, and that's why you have to call somebody out in a situation. It might well be that this conflict has arisen because you were deceived, that they were, there were underhanded tactics, uh, there was lack of truth, all of that kind of thing with the seven, of, seven and five of swords energy. Yeah, truth will out between these two cards. The truth will out. Um, I kind of think if that was a situation, you needed to act in order to bring a situation to a close, in order to move on. Because this can also be about self-sabotage sometimes. Um, I'm not really feeling that, to be fair, but the Seven of Swords can sometimes be about self-sabotage as well. To me, it feels like there was lack of truth in someone's external environment and there needed to something needed to be brought into the open. But it might have come at a cost of a friendship, could be a relationship, could be a, a job, could be... Um, disputes um in you know, all of that respect all of that kind of thing there are levels to the five of swords energy but i kind of feel that if there was some deception if you were lied to if there was something going on beneath the surface it was bringing it out into the open in order for it to be extinguished in some way yeah it can talk about inner conflict um you might have had inner conflict as a result of that but i'm not as i say i'm not really feeling that too much I feel it's more of an external thing because we've got the internal healing here, um, which is the Virgo card. And again, this is very much raising your vibration from within. You coming back to you, in a sense, from within. The Hermit card is shining a light on situations that need to be healed, shining a light on situations that are holding you back. Where you have your own internal communication with yourself, finding answers from within. Um, the Hermit is very much uh, a card of knowledge. It is a card of finding answers from within to, to accept situations in order to release, in order to move forward. Ultimately, it is a healing energy. It is a energy of, of it's a re-energizing energy from within. Um, it is raising your vibration from within. In order to move forward in your external world, in order to release. Um, the Hermit card can also be about making sound judgment calls. Yeah. For some of you, it might well be that you've had to make some sound judgments. Shine a light on things that needed to be brought out into the open. It might have, you might have needed to heal from a situation. It might have hurt you um, having to deal with this situation, but ultimately... The hermit is there to kind of like say that the judgment was sound. Um, now is the time to release whatever this conflict was and, and move forward in your external world. Yeah, beautiful energies though. I kind of feel there is a new beginning waiting for some of you. New beginnings, new opportunities. And it is freeing you from situ Yeah, this freedom is freeing you from situations that... Just keep you down, just interfere with, with your vision, with you aligning with where you're supposed to be right now. And this is, this, both of these cards are very much kind of like aligning, alignment, raising your vibration from within, very much, you know, looking at things from a different perspective in order to move forward, but long-term vision here. And this is very much healing from within, raising your vibration so you can move forward in your external world, make the choices that you need to make in order to move forward. Now, we do have a choice card here. Some of you it might well be in love, some of you it might well be in relationships that this is all relating to. This lover's card can also be about a choice. Very, very powerful choice. Um, originally in tarot, it was always about a choice, a major decision in your life now. And it might come from getting clarity, getting healing in this situation. You're taking decisions and moving on in situations that no longer serve you. Because I kind of think for some of you, you are releasing what's not working for you anymore and what, what you need to focus on. There's an element here. There's a kind of like resolve feeling that I'm getting as well. This seven of pentacles is very much um, linked to a Saturnian energy. And remember Saturn, the god of time, was Kronos. 
and it is very much focusing on where you need to allocate your time in order to get reward now and this is about evaluation this is about seeing where you're wasting your time and being honest with yourself even shining a light on situations where you need to come to that point of acceptance now that can be in any aspect of life the pentacles energy can be about immediate relationships can be our home our property our careers our money so it covers a wide tangible aspect of uh, it's all the tangible assets of life um so there's a kind of like evaluation here of reevaluating. you know where you want to be now that hanged man energy is that light bulb moment where you're suddenly seeing what the steps that you need to take to move towards fulfilling that vision to align with that and you understanding what you need to let go of as well. For some of you, you're letting go of hold hurts, things that might be holding you back, things that you might be hanging on to. The Ten of Swords is an ending. And it's saying now, now you are now only need to allow the negativity that this has caused, whatever it was, it might be involved in the Five of Swords energy as well. Um you need to release. These are deep wounds that could have hurt you at one point in time. But this is very much a time to evaluate what you need to let go of in order to refocus your energies elsewhere, in order to reallocate your time elsewhere. Because there's promise here. There's promise. And I think some of you are probably making decisions on this. Some of you may be making decisions on the career. It can also sometimes be where you're valued. Uh, to move where you're valued in the career front, to, to where you're paid your dues. You know, if people are frustrated that they're not getting the money for the work that they do, then it is about allowing yourself to consider the opportunity of moving forward uh, because there is opportunity at hand with the Ace of Wands, but it won't be for everybody. It's what resonates with you. And this is, this is very much deep hurts, deep wounds something that could have hurt quite deeply, something that probably hurt you from within as well, not just in your external world. And this is where that negativity is being pushed away because there's a new dawn, a new day. There's release because there's a new chapter beckoning. You see, this is the sun. That is the sun. This is the sun in Gemini. And we do have the sun here, bringing you that wonderful new beginning. We also have that divine energy here. There is an element of aligning with destiny, with the uh, the Wheel of Fortune card. I had it for a sign this week, I think it was Aries. Um, and this is very much now saying that now is the time, now is the opportunity. This can bring about a shift, a shift to new beginnings, you know, very much linking with that Ace of One card. Um, this can link to material success, it can certainly link to prosperity and abundance as well, even new connections. But the Wheel of Fortune is a Jupiterian card. There's a promise of real growth and expansion. So certainly, whatever this opportunity is, there's promise of growth, of thriving, of success long term when this card appears alongside it. Because you're aligning up to the path that you need to be on. Some of you need to do that evaluation of releasing, of refocusing your time and energy. Yeah, maybe taking decisions. And the lover's card can even be reconnecting with who you are um, and evaluating your circumstances in order to align with your direction now, the direction that you're moving towards because you are getting direction. This is very much good luck, good fortune. Um, it is powerful energy, powerful energy. It's an open portal of opportunity. And there is opportunity here. We can see that. There's a wonderful kind of like shift that may well bring release, that may well bring freedom as well. Freedom of thought, freedom of opening your mind to new possibilities. Not necessarily doing things the same conventional way. Remember that Virgo energy can be unconventional. There is another meaning to that card and it might not be following the conventional roots either, whatever that means um, for some of you. But really opening your mind to new possibilities now because they're here. The Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. Things happening just like they're supposed to for a reason. You're being given the answers 
you know, on where you need to move forward now in your direction by that divine energy. That halo is that divine energy speaking to you internally. And this is you taking the steps that you need to take to align with that. So powerful energies, beautiful energies, and very promising, very promising. But yeah, this is full of opportunity, the promise of success, that first step on the right path. And you're slowly but surely taking action because there's a realization here that now's the time. Beautiful energies. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you next time. Thank you.